Detectives from Burley Heads are investigating uh, the serious assault of a uh, security guard at the McDonald's restaurant at Palm Beach in the early hours of uh, Sunday the 11th of November. Um, it appears that uh, sometime just before 3 a.m. Um, a group of uh, young people have entered the restaurant. Due to their behaviour, uh, they've been asked to uh, move on. Uh, there was a verbal confrontation with the security guard. Um, Here's the security guard has left the premises. Uh, three young people have followed him outside and they're, um, for no apparent reason, have attacked him. Um, they've dragged him to the ground and assaulted him, um, both by punching and kicking him. Uh, at one point, uh, one of the offenders has taken a torch from the security guard and, um, and he's been assaulted with the torch. Um, a short time later, uh, well, during the scuffle, um, another another male security guard intervened. He too was assaulted. Um, a short time later, the, the three offenders decamped. Um, we are seeking assistance from the public. Any person who may have uh, been in the area at the time, if they can call Crime Stoppers or call their local police. Uh, we're also releasing some images uh, taken from uh, the McDonald's restaurant um, of three people we would like to speak to in relation to this matter. Um, we'd ask that uh, if anyone knows the, identi the identity of these people, to contact police or contact crime stoppers. That's like a pretty brutal assault. Look, I, I would describe it as not only brutal, but um, you know, I think it's vicious and cowardly. To be honest, um, you know, we, from our investigation so far, we can see uh, no rhyme or reason for the attack. And uh, this gentleman was just going about his business, his rightful uh, business, and he was just set upon for no apparent reason. What injuries did the first? Um the first guard, he suffered some uh, cuts and abrasions. Um, he did suffer a fairly severe concussion. He was taken to the hospital that night. He's since been released this afternoon. Um, so he's okay in that respect. Um, but um, the other guard uh, suffered some abrasions as well and has a broken finger. So pretty serious injury. It certainly was a serious assault, that's for sure. How old is that? Look, it, it's, it's hard to say. They certainly are young. Um, but we'd appeal for anyone who knows the identity of these people to, uh, to contact us, to contact crime stoppers, which they can do so non anonymously. Young people still in their teens and adults? They've been described as in their late teens, possibly. Um, possibly. Uh, we've made inquiries with the staff and uh, we've taken statements from the staff um, and we're following up a number of lives. We don't even know if they're local or not. Was the torch recovered? Uh, not at this stage, no. Do you have strong leads then with these photos as to you know, where they we are, we are hoping by releasing the photos that there's someone out there will be able to, um, to give us some sort of assistance as to the identity of these people. Uh, and as I said, um, you can do that anonymously or just by contacting the crime certainly was a shocking attack and certainly would have some impact on them. Has it shocked the staff? I mean, how did he be franchisee? I can't speak to the staff of the franchisee, but I expect any sort of incident like that would have some impact on them. But unusual? Unusual. It's an unusual event, that's for sure, yeah. There's a security guard that patrols there every weekend. Um, is it a known hotspot for violence? No, I wouldn't say that, no. Uh, many uh, premises um, that are open security um, for no other reason just as a, a form of uh, risk aversion.